Hey everyone, welcome to Area 616. So even though it was the right thing for Marvel and Netflix to do, their choice to cancel the Punisher's panel ultimately made this year's New York Comic Con honestly kind of boring for Marvel. We got a Runaways trailer, which was awesome, but beyond that, not much happened. At all. But we did get some really cool news for Season 5 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and I don't mean to brag or anything, but I totally nailed the December 1st premiere date guess. Just say. But today, I wanted to talk about four things I'd really love to see happen in Season 5 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., using this chance to go over some of the things we learned at the New York Comic Con this year. And of course, keep in mind that there are some spoilers for the premiere episodes. But let's get started. 4. Captain Marvel now I'd like to specify that I don't mean straight up Brie Larson guest starring in an episode in full Captain Marvel get up. That'd be awesome, but impossible for this show to accomplish. And I also doubt Marvel would let them debut Carol on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. as opposed to Infinity War, where she'll probably make her first in the flesh appearance. But as we all know, there are a lot of mysteries surrounding the Captain Marvel movie's timeline as it is set in the 90s, but Carol is operating with the Avengers in the modern day. No real details on how all of this will turn out just yet, but the prevailing theory is that for this period of time, she is in space with the Kree. At the New York Comic Con panel, it was confirmed that the Kree will be in Season 5, and with the agents being in space, they'll probably be in it for more than an episode or two. So with that said, I'd love to see some teamwork between Marvel Studios and Marvel Television, with Season 5 maybe giving us some hints towards Captain Marvel's plot. For example, we know that the movie will feature the Kree Skrull War, so perhaps they could mention that in passing here, maybe even mentioning a certain champion of the Kree, in reference to either Carol or maybe even Marvel. Also, a lot of people, including myself, would love to see a big secret invasion story for the MCU that goes across all the movies and TV shows. And this would be exactly the time and place for that to get started. Perhaps the season 5 cliffhanger ending could feature the reveal that one of the agents is actually a scroll. 3. The Brood Now, if you know anything about the Brood in the comics, I know what you're probably thinking. They're characters that first appeared in and are most affiliated with the X-Men, so wouldn't Fox own them? And that's correct, they are owned by Fox. So therefore, the Brood couldn't technically be in Season 5 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. But we have learned that the people who took the agents at the end of Season 4 were actually aliens, creatures wearing human skin as disguises. But underneath, they are freaky, full CGI monsters who crawl around on all fours. Kinda sounds like the Brood, doesn't it? Brood are really Marvel's answer to the Xenomorphs from the Alien franchise. The Brood, like the Xenomorph, are parasitic and actually impregnate a host, typically a human. Now they don't burst out of said host's chests, they actually transform that host into their monstrous form, but it's still pretty creepy, and it's kinda similar to what it sounds like with Season 5 with aliens that are using human skin as a disguise. So basically, I'd love to see a brood-like story here with maybe one of the agents getting impregnated by the aliens and they have to figure out how to stop it and all that. The description for the season 5 footage um, shown makes it sound much more like a bloody alien-type horror story than a cosmic adventure. The aliens here are said to be blue, so they likely have something to do with the Kree, but the point still stands, I'd love for them to be kind of a discount brood. 2. The Return of the Secret Warriors Although the Secret Warriors were a pretty big part of Season 3 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., since then they haven't appeared again, with Quake and Yo-Yo being the only active members. In Season 5, I'd really like to see the Secret Warriors come together again, but I'd personally like to see a different team this time. I'd say keep Quake and Yo-Yo, but drop Joey and bring in more big-name characters. The lineup I'd personally like to see is Quake, Yo-Yo, Mockingbird, Deathlock, Stonewall, who is a member of the Secret Warriors in the comics, 
and is actually the son of Absorbing Man, who has been in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. before. And then Blue Marvel, a Marvel character who recently became more popular with Al Ewing's uh, Ultimates books. I'd also love to see Aiku Jokinen, aka Pod, come into play here, but she would probably be a later member. Basically, I'd love to see the Secret Warriors become a more regular part of this show and have more interesting characters in its ranks than Spark Plug and Meltman. One, Infinity War tie-in. Assuming there are no breaks, like there usually are with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., then the last episode of Season 5 should come out on, on April 20th, a little over two weeks before Avengers Infinity War comes to theaters. Let's be real, this timing is far too convenient to be accidental. And especially considering that the agents just happen to be going to space in the season leading up to the very cosmic-bound Infinity War, I'd love to see Season 5 tie in to Infinity War in some way. Preferably, I'd like to see the agents play a small role in the film, or at the very least, Phil Coulson. Infinity War just happened to be filming during the time that Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. wasn't, so it is possible. I wouldn't expect their roles to be huge, just for them to contribute in some way. We all know that a few founding Avengers are going to kick the bucket this go-around, so I'd love for them to know Coulson's still out there before they go. Honestly, I was thinking that if the Avengers are going out to space, perhaps Coulson could uh, even give them the station they're being held on in Season 5 as a mode of transportation for them, one big enough to hold everyone. That would be a big contribution to the events of Infinity War, but also not one necessarily big enough to make it necessary for the agents to be present the whole time. It would also be a smooth tie-in, one where people don't have to watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. to understand it, but watching it would add to it, as that ship has history to it. That's just a theory though, of course, but what do you guys think? What are some things you'd like to see in Season 5 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? If you think it should tie into Infinity War, how would you have that happen? Let me know all your thoughts and theories in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time I'm not rich and I'm not famous I don't have a lot of money I can offer you though you'd like to have a big house with all the fancy